On this episode, I set out on a solo road trip to Northern Ireland from Dublin, and my first stop was Newcastle, a beautiful seaside town located just across the border and on the East Coast. I planted myself there for a few days before heading further north. Where to stay in lovely Newcastle? The Sleeve Donard Hotel and Spa Resort, of course. The iconic resort is the jewel of the coastline and boasts not only luxurious accommodations, but also several dining options, shopping, as well as a world-class spa. Additionally, the resort works with the neighboring golf course for some wonderful golf, spa, and stay packages. I loved spending my downtime at the pool and spa at the hotel, as it oozes serenity at every corner, while also offering gorgeous views of the ocean front. The main dining option on site is the Oak Restaurant, with breathtaking sea views they also do a bang-up job accommodating special diets. For a romantic dinner or a hearty breakfast, you don't have to wander far to enjoy a meal and a view. I enjoyed every meal that I had on the property. But if you're seeking something a little more rugged, be sure to try the Trails and Ales Tour with One Great Adventure. I had a blast doing an e-bike tour of the grounds at Castle Wellen stopping at a beautiful hedge maze, biking through the serene forest, and ultimately arriving at the summit where I was able to get fabulous views of Castle Wellen as well as Newcastle. And for you Game of Thrones buffs, you can see lots of shooting locations. After my awesome ride, I was taken over to meet the owners of Whitewater Brewing Company, a local brewing establishment run by a husband and wife team. I loved hearing their story, seeing their operation, but most of all, trying their tasty brews. As mentioned, the Sleeve Donard works with the Royal County Down Golf Course, a world-renowned course. I wandered over for a fun lesson and had an incredible time. I can see how a weekend of golfing and spa time on the coast could be a great way to spend a few days. If you happen to be wandering around Newcastle, make it a point to pop into Sea Salt, a cute cafe in town. They offer quite a few vegan options and it's a fun place to chalk up conversation with a local. No matter the weather, Newcastle is so charming to stroll. From walks on the ocean to checking out the town shops, Newcastle really is a wonderful place for an Irish holiday. Being a coastal town, there's plenty of sea and seaweed around, 
So the Morn seaweed baths came up with a fascinating spa experience where guests can bathe in a hot seaweed and seawater bath. Feels really weird. Alright, so after steaming in there, I just got in this uh, cookie seaweed bath. It's nice and hot and it's actual seawater. Um, it's slimy, but it's actually really cool. Alright, time to relax. On my last night in town, I had the most incredible meal that I had on my entire trip, and that was at Brunel's restaurant. Well, just uh, out of the gates of Sleeve Donard, you will find Brunel's, which is a really beautiful restaurant. Um, I walked by earlier today and I thought I should have a meal there. It's really beautiful on the inside and they have a regular menu, but they have a special vegan menu that is seasonal. So I'm really excited to see what they've got going on. The place is so pretty. I would imagine the food is too. Let's go. A hip restaurant just a block from my hotel. They offered an out of this world vegan menu. And as each course was set down in front of me, my jaw dropped even lower. Let me tell you, the food looked as good as it tasted. So impressed. I adored my time in Newcastle, but it was time to explore some other locations in Northern Ireland. So I hopped in my car and made my way up the coast heading north to check out the sights, towns, and tastes of the region. I'm here in uh, the little town of Bushmills, which is right off the coastal drive, which is up here in Northern Ireland. I've decided to take a little day trip to kind of hit up all the hot spots like Giant's Causeway, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, um, a couple castles along the way, um, the Rope Bridge, um, which has some fantastic views of all the cliffs, and uh, finally some um, filming locations for all sorts of movies and TV shows, namely Game of Thrones. Um, there's a place called the Dark Hedges that looks incredibly magical, so I'm making my way around Northern Ireland uh, today on a little road trip, so join me, won't you? My first stop was at the stunning Caracaridi Rope Bridge, a famous rope bridge near Ballantoy in County Antrim. The bridge links the mainland to the tiny yet scenic island of Caracaridi. There is a main parking lot and round trip is about two miles to and from the lot to the island. Walking on a rope bridge and it's very bouncy. Arguably one of the most famous and iconic sites in all of Ireland, the Giant's Causeway, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is an area of about 40,000 interlocking basalt columns, the result of an ancient volcanic fissure eruption. It's located in County Antrim in the north coast of Northern Ireland and about three miles northeast of the town of Bushmills. Not far from the causeway, be sure to make a pit stop at Dunluce Castle, a now ruined medieval castle in Northern Ireland, the seat of Clan Macdonnell. It is located on the edge of a basalt outcropping in County Antrim. After a long day of driving and sightseeing, I was super lucky to be able to stay and enjoy at the dreamy Galgorm Resort and Spa, the perfect place to relax and enjoy peace and quiet after a whirlwind trip. Plus, the vegan options are fan-freaking-tastic. Located in Ballymena, about 30 minutes north of Belfast, Galgorm is the perfect place to get to and from the city or the coast while also getting a chance to enjoy the Irish countryside. Galgorm is set within 163 acres of lush parkland and the spectacular River Main flowing through the estate. A truly unique setting amidst the stunning scenery of the North Antrim coast, it is the perfect base from which to explore the region's most renowned attractions. This resort is home to luxurious rooms, suites and cabins as well as the unique Thermal Village and Spa that is the first of its kind in Ireland. Guests get to enjoy the tranquility of nature and experience pure relaxation in the spa and thermal village with an extensive selection of riverside hot tubs, indoor and outdoor heated pools, 
steam rooms, and saunas. The resort also boasts a selection of top-notch restaurants and bars, making Galgorm the perfect escape. The on-site dining options are terrific, as they have several restaurants that offer vegan options at each. It was time for me to leave Galgorm and head to Belfast, and my first stop was the Titanic Museum. Hands down, this museum makes one of my top five favorite museums in the world, not only for the subject matter, but also the creativity and interactivity of it. It is beautiful, well done, and there's even a full-on theme park ride inside. With a combo ticket at the Titanic Museum, hop on over to the dock across the street to experience the Titanic's sister ship, the SS Nomadic. The world's last remaining White Star vessel and RMS Titanic's original tender ship. Well, just across the street from the Titanic Museum, you will find Hamilton Dock and the SS Nomadic which is actually the Titanic's sister ship, built by the same shipbuilders on the same dry dock, everything. And it was built to transport Titanic guests from the docks to the ship because the ship was too big for the canal. So the, this was built to ferry their guests over to the ship. So, um, of course, we all know the story of Titanic. It went down, but because this is a pretty much exact re smaller replica built for those passengers, uh, it's like a living dinosaur of Titanic. So uh, let's board it and see uh, how close it feels like the real thing. Of course, the same speed is right at level when it could. The shell plates are made of a hull weighed up to four and a half tons. <laughs> they were taller than the car. The museum is located at the foot of the dry docks where the actual Titanic was built as well. Titanic Belfast extends over nine interactive galleries with multiple dimensions to the exhibition, drawing together special effects, dark rides, full-scale reconstructions, and innovative interactive features. Explore the shipyard, travel to the depths of the ocean, and uncover the true legend of Titanic in the city where it all began. My last stop before heading back to Dublin was grabbing a bite at Kopi. Located in downtown Belfast, they serve up Italian fare and with a special vegan menu that will blow your socks off. So, vegan or not, Kopi rocks! Northern Ireland has so much to offer travelers, and I'm so glad I got to do such a packed road trip to see it all. Well, sadly, it's time for me to say goodbye to Ireland, but I hope you'll join me again next time on the next episode of The Healthy Voyager. Bye!